Lesson 26, the Holy Eucharist. The Holy Eucharist is a sacrament. Jesus said, the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world, in the Gospel of St. John. The Holy Eucharist is a sacrament and a sacrifice. In the Eucharist, under the appearance of bread and wine, the Lord Jesus is contained, offered, and received. The Eucharist is a sacrament. Like all sacraments, it's a sign of Christ. But unlike other sacraments, the Eucharist is not only an action of Christ, but also really contains personally Jesus Christ. In this lesson, we consider the way in which Christ is contained in this sacrament. In the next lesson, we will consider the sacrament as the sign of Christ's sacrifice. Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist at the Last Supper, the night before he died. The Last Supper was a banquet, a ceremonial meal called the Passover. It was eaten each year in commemoration of the freeing of the Jews from slavery in Egypt. At this meal, the Jews ate the Paschal Lamb, which had been sacrificed by a priest. This was the principal sacrifice of the Jews and was a symbol of the future sacrifice of Christ. At the Last Supper, Jesus instituted the Eucharist as the ceremony under which his sacrifice of the next day on Calvary was to be continued through the centuries. Our Mass is the continuation of this ceremony. But it is a sacrament, not merely an empty ceremony. It really contains what the ceremony signifies, and that is the sacrifice of Christ. When our Lord instituted the Holy Eucharist, the apostles were present. Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist in this way. He took bread, blessed and broke it, and giving it to his apostles said, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took a cup of wine, blessed it, and giving it to them said, All of you drink of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is being shed for many unto the forgiveness of sins. Finally, he gave his apostles the commission, Do this in remembrance of me. When our Lord said, This is my body, the entire substance of the bread was changed into his body. And when he said, This is my blood, the entire substance of the wine was changed into his blood. After the substance of the bread and wine had been changed into our Lord's body and blood, there remained only the appearances of bread and wine. By the appearances of the bread and wine, we mean their color, taste, weight, shape, and whatever else appears to the senses. The change in the entire substance of the bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ is called transubstantiation. There are different kinds of changes which may take place in things. A. A change of appearances. For example, a green apple grows to be a full, ripe red apple. B. A partial change of substance. For example, oil burns and changes into smoke. The appearance changes also. And C. A complete change of substance. This is trans substantiation. The appearance remains the same, but the substance is different. The only example of this kind of change is found in the consecration of the Mass. When the priest says, This is my body at Mass, you would immediately see Christ, and not the appearance of bread, if God did not prevent it by a miracle. He keeps the appearance of bread in existence to enable us to eat the flesh of Christ without difficulty. He's hidden in the bread. Jesus Christ is whole and entire, both under the appearances of bread and under the appearances of wine. Christ is present whole and entire, even under a tiny particle of the host. Now that he has risen from the dead, He can die no more. 
nor can he be divided. Our Lord was able to change bread and wine into his body and blood by his almighty power. The change of bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ continues to be made in the church by Jesus Christ through the ministry of his priests. Christ gave his priests the power to change bread and wine into his body and blood when he made the apostles priests at the Last Supper by saying to them, Do this in remembrance of me. The priests exercised their power to change bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ by repeating at the consecration of the Mass the words of Christ, This is my body. This is my blood. Jesus gives us his own body and blood in the Holy Eucharist. First, to be offered as a sacrifice, commemorating and renewing for all time the sacrifice of the cross. And second, to be received by the faithful in Holy Communion. And third, to remain ever on our altars as the proof of his love for us and to be worshipped by us. The Mass is a sacrament. The host received in communion is a sacrament. The host in the monstrance at benediction is a sacrament. And still the Eucharist is only one sacrament in which we offer, receive, and adore Jesus Christ really present. As we close, let us pray, Jesus, we trust in you. We ask you to continue to bless us and increase our faith and trust in you. Amen.